except we had the cottage when we got the second marriage, and that only lasted for a year or two. But then it goes to your fourth, fifth, and sixth house, and you're going through the changes of, around how you're living, about what your skills and performances are, and and then what what kind of duties and work and things you're trying to do, what's what you can offer to other people. So uh, I was already always burning on astrology, but it was affecting my personal life in different ways. So by the time Saturn is a descendant, it's going to change your relationships and shock your response. Like, this is the happy chart. We're taking in impressions from other people. At the ascendant, you're projecting out and it's changing and pushing the projection. At the descendant, it's changing the reaction to other people. It's shocking up. So often other people shock you and pull it in. But you're changing the way you respond to other people. There's unexpected responses. Sometimes the partner can get more free and more independent. For me, what happened? Oh yeah, for me, my mother had um, retired and moved to Hungary with her husband, and they were there for a number of, for eight or nine years. But she was eighty, and her relationship broke up. Her seventy-year-old husband started doing the cleaning lady. I call her. She says, "He's doing the cleaning lady. I got to leave." She says. And I said, that's, I was asking her, she said, damn, that was my best cleaning lady. She didn't say he was my best husband. She said, damn, I'm losing my best cleaning lady out of this. But um, she left and had to start all over again. She had the beginnings of Alzheimer's. She lived a couple more years. Okay, so with, I was living on my own, but at the first hit, my mom came back to here, but she wasn't doing so well. And I let her come into my place to take care of her. So she was in my place in a barn. This is a classy lady who wouldn't, always had nice things but she didn't have trouble with it she went to my brother's and was upset of really upsetting she wasn't comfortable so she came and lived with me she did fine so she was just in there then by the by the foot by the summer i really she could get her own apartment also i was getting to what where i couldn't put up with her anymore i get up to meditate she gets up and turns on the radio this has always been between us but in any case on the second hit she got her own i helped her and she got her own apartment on the third hit my son's business fell apart and he and my he and his grand and, and and his son moved in with me, so I had my world disrupted by another another people being in my house, and my mom health started failing. She died just a few months after that. So this whole time period was I had my own place. I was absorbed in my own world, duty. But they came in and disrupted my whole relationships, and I had to spin my life around them for this couple of years. I'm glad I did. Looking back, I had time to help mom before she died and help my son, but it all changed very quickly and that was it. Now I don't get the next one until Uranus hits my mid heaven in 2025. If I lived that long, maybe I, I get acknowledged for some, I have a breakthrough in the astrology work that I'm doing or something. I know I'll be working because I don't get I work for myself. I don't get enough pension to carry it. So this is my story with it. You're going to have your own. But it be, as soon as you take it from the theory, you start applying it, you start seeing these patterns very vividly there. Like I would have predicted that my mom was going to have her relationship break and she'd come into my place. But I did have to, I was shocked by it when she was at my brother's place, she was getting sick there and they were expecting her to help out and she couldn't. It shook up my identity and I forced me, oh my goodness. So I said, come, I'll take care of you. And she, I brought her in and she, I stayed with her. I took care of her. So I had a partner of my mom for a year or so. And then my son and grandson, Came, came in and I was taking care of them. So I had these people in my world that really disrupted. There was no way other relations were going to happen while that was going on. It was a shock. It was not something I would have wished for, not something I wanted, but in having done it, it changed old attitudes and let me complete things with my mom. And, and it just, it broke old attitudes that had been formulated before. So it was a healing thing, even though a very unstable thing. But it did shake me out too. If I could put up with them, then I could start putting up with things out in the world a bit more and um, becoming more functional. The excitement became more about where I was fitting in and what I was doing outwardly from there. It was after, it was after that that I started building the wood hinge and starting the drumming circles and things, building the building up with Uranus. So that's that's you just get three little hits, but you get glimpses of. It's not like you sort of see the phases, you know. I know now Uranus is in seventh house, eighth house, ninth house. It's, it's causing disruptions around relations, around people. Okay, and um, I'm still in touch with some of my exes and 
they have their legs changing and disrupting. So those changes are there. So it's not, but I'm also enjoying my independence of being free of that. So I'm not sure where this is going. It's too far away for me to know. I'm working with my Saturn and things of this sort. But these times really did come in. It's, and you don't know exactly what it is till you get to the edge of it. Sorry. Till you get right to the edge, it start like once it gets within the degree, you know what's happening. It's starting probably from the time the planet goes into the sign. So as Uranus gets into Taurus, anyone with some, an angle in Taurus or their sun or planet in Taurus, they're already getting the beginning vibrations of it. But it, be, it doesn't become noticeable until it gets within that one degree. It can be within two or three degrees, but for sure, when it's within one degree of that, you're in the critical mode. It's noticeable. The person knows what's going on. You can walk in and talk about it. They know what's happening, and then they're going to tell you what's happening. You're going to see the shock that's going on, the changes going on, and you're tuning into their shock, and you're trying to get some perspective on it. You can't change the shock that's going on. It's let go, let go. It, it, it's, you're not going to put these pieces back together, Humpty Dumpty. But inside of that, you're guiding them on their Saturn, how to structure it so things will build up properly for them again. And they get their bearings again. They get on track again. And or how to, if it's worked out as something positive, then how to maintain it and realign this positive to the Saturn cycle again. So this is a, many people will come get their charts done under Uranus problem. And you're dealing with the shock and the change and you're trying to allow for the instability allow, and see how long it's going to last. And then you have to concentrate on the Saturn to see what the rebuilding phase is going. Once this happens, where are you with your Saturn? How do you regroup? Okay. Um, so when it hits the mid heaven, it's it, it's changes to social position and status. You're gonna change jobs. You're gonna be doing exciting things. Or you're gonna be pushed beyond what you expected. Or you're gonna be doing your own special things. So you're trying to reach towards these things as they're, as they're coming up. You're moving towards that. It's gonna be building up. But it, when it's there, there's this point of not knowing. It's changing. It could really break through or break down. You don't know which way it goes. It depends on your karma and your alignment at that time. <laughs> So I know I'm giving limited examples. I was going to, I was going to use some famous people and just show this happened to this person, this that like this, but I really don't want to make it glamorous like that. I'd like to secure that you know how to work it with your own chart. You see it working with your own your chart, and really knowing these things when you go through your or your Uranus aspect, a transit, and you see the shock and you live it, knowing these things. By the time you've got through the year and a half, you know how it works. It's yours. You will always be able to work with people you're in. But you have, knowing astrology, you have to know it and live the aspect before it becomes your aspect. So you have to go through some of the Uranus things before you can empathize with someone else going through those things and see how it works through. So um, when you're first starting, you're doing on theory, and you're seeing it, you can walk in, you can talk about it. It's very impressive. But how to guide it exactly, it's easier when you're older, like me, and I can see, oh, well, that played out, and you can see the big shot, big breakthrough, and then you see the breakdown. You see, you you, you get a, a perspective on how to how to navigate around it. But when it's happening to you, doesn't matter what age you are, you're still in this shock. Um, so really, at this descent, you're being shocked out of yourself. I was really, really living isolated and alone, and. Then mom coming in and I had to put up with her taking care of her. Then my son and his and my grandson come in. I got pulled into his education and his things. And that pulled me out of myself. Probably if I hadn't gone through that out of myself, I would have never made it to China or done any of these other things. It just got me out and extended trying to build things up again. This is this phase I'll be in for a long time. Another seven or eight years anyways. Eight or nine. So, and then you, you get up to position. Then you're trying to change you have change or innovations through career what you're doing innovation different friends coming in then different things you have to leave behind it it hits the 12th and then you get the new identity so you're only going to get four of these and maybe a fifth in a lifetime you know like if you were born just before an angle it could touch the angle early so you get the four may come back to that angle again so that would be like the fifth that, that's like the 84 and you might get to the next other so you, four or five is one of these is a lifetime. So there can always be a breakthrough, but when it's Uranus is on the rising side of your chart, you're instigating it. You're pushing for it, and there's repercussions. 
when it's on the setting side, you're reacting to it. And the shocks and the excitement's coming from others and your reactions to it, it's very different. When it's on the IC, it's deep down within between your reactions and your projections is affecting it. When it's out in the world, it's changing your status between reacting, instigating and reacting. Or reacting and instigating, instead of waiting, you're doing and suddenly you have to be pushing more. So we're just touching on this, but just work with some charts, slow, slow it down, see, it's just by seeing, if you're just seeing your race on the, oh, it's identity change. Yeah, you can see that. But when you realize it's changing 42 years or a whole your life up till now, it's been working out that way. And now it's about you getting some individual identity that's some personal freedom or excitement. Wow. You know, like someone might come to me and they've been a principal in a university school or a president of a company for years, done all the corporate things, and been out there, had that excitement. Saturday, Uranus hits her and said, why don't I take a belly dancing course or do something shocking? I could never do that one. Or, you know, but sometimes you can feed the catalyst in a healthy way. Sometimes somebody walks in and just changes your life and then suddenly everything's changed. These are anything sudden like that, anything shocking like that, that's Uranus's work. It has that nervous, restless, catalytic, sudden change nature to it. With its worry, with its restlessness, with not sleeping, with the hyperness, the pacing the floor, the, like this is all Uranus energy. And it comes to a peak, it breaks and you crash and, and whatever is meant to be let go has to be let go of. Okay, where are we? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get on here. So that's, that's the main three. But when you come along, okay, let's just, we got the moon. As long as any of the outer planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, they're the most powerful aspects they last for a year or two. They're, they're strong for the, they have a cycle to itself, which is just general everyone going through. But then it has the cycle to the sun, which is about your confidence and your goals, primary. But they also affect all the inner planets. The outer planets to the moon, that's extreme. Outer planets to Mercury, to Venus, to the sun, and to Mars, these are all extreme. Outer planets to Jupiter and Uranus are a little bit more obscured because they're social and it's it's change of understanding. Change. You know, they're not as extreme. They're somewhat there. They're still seeable, but you wouldn't so much predict on them that much. But when you see them to the personal planets, they're really, but the other planets to themselves, those are things happen for whole generations of people. You don't use that to make any kind of predictions for anybody or directions. It's just changes the whole world. Everyone born for the year has, for seven years, has Uranus in the same sign. So. Anyone in that city, they have these same opposition states. So there's certain things that just happen in the world. But Uranus to Neptune, Uranus to Pluto, these are long-term things. Those are historical cycles. And they represent part of the this time that you're living in, but they can be changing, but they're not gonna be intense and personal to your life, like to the inner planets or to the angles. Those are the, this is, I mean, Uranus is the first one that really start to work with rectifying your chart because you see the shots. Well, first you're working get the phases with Saturn and feel you're in the right phase with Saturn going through the angles and then you see those points, but that's kind of depressing and it holds in for a period of time. You don't, it's hard to see the edges of Saturn on an angle, but when Uranus is on the exact angle, you're wired at that moment. You feel it moment. So that, that's where you start to see, if you do all your Uranus to your angles, you see it was, it, the big things happen just before at each one. Well, it, may, it might mean your sentence a little bit earlier or just after maybe, but that shocking thing is going to be there down to the month. You'll see it within a month or two for sure. Okay. So when we get to the moon, you have your, it's your lifestyle, it's your habits. Okay, well, I better pull out this tool. Where are we here? Okay. 